have a lot of value especially when you're not playing sigils around it but on a swing turn with wizard of savaz plus twin guardians you could literally just set up a board state that your opponent's like holy crap i have no chance now because it puts two three three wards into play for one play point on top of a wizard of savaz turn so it also protects her really well uh to keep the other spells uh, alive in your hand so very very interesting tech card for bobs to be playing all right guys <laughs> talk about this match seraph against mid shadow Ooh, this looks rough. What do you guys think? Well, first uh, of all, is Bottles yeah, even awake? Yeah, bo <laughs> Bottles <laughs> catching some Z's right now. What's going Bottles on? Bottles look like he just rolled out of bed. Oh, man, this is good stuff. <laughs> all right, you, no, talk, you talk about uh, the Seraph game plan. You know Seraph. Tell these people about Seraph. I do. All right, guys, so um, Bottles' hand awesome. right now is actually really good against uh less uh he uh, bottles is going first he does have access to the snow whites he's got two snow whites he's going to be able to get a lot of value out of those uh as the game goes but what seraph is trying to do is seraph is trying to win on just one turn it's trying to get to turn eight it's trying to drop the seraph and then on turn nine boom it, he uh, uses his uh hollow dogmas his um Healing prayers Sister and his, 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 healing his, his, prayers. and he uses those and he just pops his seraph until he wins and it and seraph requires four activations to win so um in effect seraph well, actually not even in effect in the card text it says win the game so you literally right. win you do that doesn't matter what your opponent tells you it is a perfect card in shadowverse to have the theme song final countdown because <laughs> that's exactly what it does. Yeah, very true. And that's very the final true. countdown. And Mid Shadow, as we know its game plan, realistically, it's just going to be can Bottles play Seraph? And this is always the case with Seraph. Can Bottles play Seraph on a turn that he's safe that he won't die? Because essentially, Seraph doesn't affect the board whatsoever. You can evolve it to kill a follower. It doesn't kill anything when it comes into play. It doesn't gain you any health. It does nothing. So if you play right. it, you're essentially saying, hey, turn, you have a free turn. Can you kill me? If not, I'm probably going to combo you next turn and win the game. So, very, very dicey card to play, but it can win faster than I guess, so some players tend to like it more. Oh, Bottles is playing on his phone! Or tablet, ah, or something. Okay, that's so So that explains down. it, that's okay. The whole time. <laughs> Man's catching some Z's! Nope, he, he, he's playing on his phone. <laughs> Okay. Uh, uh, Kojo Lesson looks evolve, like, take Lesson out looks like he's playing in a in a in a in a like an office building or something. Maybe it's just a, a weird angle in his house. It's interesting. Maybe. 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 So right. he was able so to take Lesson out two here. Playing Shadow Reaper again, a card that we see in some Shadow players' decks, but it's not as uh, it's not as relevant as it ha as it has been in the past. As we can see this turn, it might be able to get some value, but it might just be a dead card I mean, sitting in his hand for the rest of this game. It's animated, so it's relevant. <laughs> it's animated, yeah. Terrible yeah. logic, by the way. Don't ever follow that logic. Now, I don't like the defensive evolve here. Um, I don't think against Seraph you should ever worry about your opponent's damage to your face. I think that all of your Evo should be preserved essentially to go face so that you can kill them before it matters. Um... So, especially especially on that turn, he has so many ways to, to finish off the followers of Bottles' side. I don't I don't I don't really fully understand it, but maybe that Evo point will come into play. Maybe it won't. We'll see. Well, um, Bottles was able to clear the board with the Dark Jean, and for those who don't know, Dark Jean, when she comes into play, she will do two damage to all of the followers, and um, she will also give plus two plus zero to any other surviving followers. More often than not, Dark Jean's just played when she knows, or when you know that it's just going to blow up the board. Right. Blow up the board, or... Uh, we've seen... We saw one of the games, I think it was yesterday even, where Dark John hit the field and just won the game on turn six at, with a control deck playing, just because his opponent didn't have anything relevant to clear off the early followers. So, it does have yep. that spice added to it, where it can just win you the game also. It was yesterday. It was yesterday. 
Ooh, yeah, always and... interesting that Dark Dawn can aggro kill. Well, what really sucks is that uh, Bottles is coming up on his Seraph turn, and he hasn't actually taken a ton of damage. That was a draw, though. That is right about to change, though. That Ektar oh. basically allows for less to actually get into a winning position here around the... Uh, ooh. I think this is fine, too. If he plays yeah, Seraph... This is, yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is completely fine. If he plays Seraph, he's dead. <laughs> this this is exactly what you don't want when you're a Seraph player. That's right. Can't play it. All right, oh, draws wow, the Themis. Perfect draw. He might but... actually... Uh, he might save the Themis for an Ektar play. This is a really hard turn for him. You can see it on his face. Yeah. He's. I, I think he's actually trying to make that gamble decision. Do I gamble here? Do I gamble here? There's no way you play Seraph. No way. <laughs> there's no way he's you play that. He's thinking about it. Do, no. There's no way you play that, Seraph. Okay? You He's don't thinking play. about it. Let's go, Bottles. No! No! Do not okay. do it, okay? <laughs> do not listen to Exodium, okay? Yeah, not that's not that. big camp. You're making me sad. That's all right. <laughs> We're in the gambling day. It's all been about gambles today, but uh, decides to not take a gamble. Good play, Bottles. Don't take the gamble. Yeah. Yeah. It's a way smarter right. play than Let's... what he was suggesting, okay? <laughs> <laughs> what he was suggesting was suicide. Don't do that. But honestly, now it might not matter with the with the Akhtar drawn and the Phantom Hell already in hand with uh, with the Mimi left over or the Coco left over. I don't know if Bottle's going to be able to stop this. He might have to use a heads up healing prayer here just to stay alive. Um, I think I would do it. I think I would do that just to pop the Beast Call Arya. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, again, there's no way he can play Seraph. Uh, well, actually, this would be more of a situation where he would even think about playing Seraph, but I still wouldn't. I think you would I have to. Oh, yeah, yeah I, think, that's I think this turn is Themis into Healing Prayer. I think that is the best play he could make. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. So, Phantom Howl was only going to get 5 damage. Um, he could use the Phantom Howl to clear, but then that is then giving him the opportunity to play the Seraph. If that... It's so, ugh. These, these draws for less have been right on point. Exactly what he needs. Like, keep filling up the board every single turn, not relenting on the damage that he can deal, because that's the best way to beat Seraph, not allowing them to play Seraph. Yep. This, this now, feels awful, by the way. Yeah, the, the advantage that you get by playing Seraph and being able to win a lot faster than an Angus deck because it doesn't require damage being dealt, it just requires your combo has a really negative side effect of because it's not a follower you can't do a play such as like you can play i guess evolve it and kill something and then it's imposing on the board again with seraph you just have to play it and hope your opponent can't beat you which against a deck like mid shadow can put you in this really precarious position that we see less putting bottles in of you can't ever cast it you can't ever really beat me right this Unfortunately, as Exo said, this is one of the downsides of playing Seraph. This is why I stopped playing the deck, despite Seraph being one of my favorites. Is that, you know, with so much Shadow around, it's just so difficult. So difficult, you know, to be able to play through this. You know, Realistically, so I don't even know if he can play. live through this turn. I think this is just no. it. There's not enough removal. Yep. Slam the door. What he's got to do is hope for a Hallowed Dogma into uh, Themis. That's really it. Nope. May you rest in peace. Nope. It's not. It's not enough. It's not Phantom enough. Phantom Hell in hand. Go take will out do the Soul Squasher, but extra damage. Yep. Yep. This. This. This is Seraph. This is the Seraph life, people. The Seraph, <laughs> Seraph life. life. <laughs> there definitely needs to be a meme about Seraph life, where it's literally just stuck in your hand and you just you can't do anything with it. That'd be a great thing. Yeah. Seraph life, Never man. Played. <laughs> exactly never played oh man so let's take that one up um good matchup for him there uh and then drove it home drew the cards that he needed on the right turns played them all very well uh so we're gonna see that seraph is going to have to win another game or win a game rather in this matchup still yeah that that feels pretty bad you know when you're 
a Seraph player and you have to burn your, uh, you know, amulet, you, uh, yeah, your amulet cards, uh, your reducers on not Seraph, <laughs> that feels awful. Wait a minute. I guess you're looking for a fight. Okay, okay. Never mind. But I thought both players were bringing twin guardians, and I was gonna go crazy. Oh no! In their rune, in their rune decks, because they both have a rune deck in their lineup. But no, just Lust has a single twin guardians. There's another rune player in here that is playing two twin guardians. We'll have to get to that in a later matchup. But as of right now, Lust on a one zero streak here. Let's see if he can close out. Not the most optimal. Of I like hands. <sighs> I like that. A 1 0 streak. Yeah, like, 1 0 streak, baby. That Keep was it alive. 1 0 streak. <laughs> like. <laughs> hey, man. You can call anything a streak you want to. Words words be words, okay? I'm, this is exactly why English sucks as a language, okay? <laughs> <laughs> we can make up words and then they get added to the do? dictionary, okay? Yeah. 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 I mean, if I was a foreigner, I would not want to learn English because I'd be too confused. Did you? I'm pretty sure that all of the new text speech, like LOL, LMFAO, and all that stuff, has been added to the dictionary now, and those aren't even words. Those are just acronyms. That's the best. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> English language is the best. It's, it's the worst, okay? <laughs> it's so imprecise, it really is. dude. It's impossible to learn. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I'm glad okay. it was my first language because now I don't have to learn it. Oh, so perfect. True. True. Okay. Moving on. Yeah. Um. <laughs> okay. Um. These are my best so, cards. Witch of Sweets gonna draw him a card because he has plenty of neutrals in hand to be able to use it. Um. I don't even think. I think you just go face. You don't even think about trading with no. that. Hundred percent face. Yeah. Because he's going to have to trade regardless, and you don't want to lose out on any damage that you can be dealing. And his hand is pretty stacked for damage. He's got double Hector and double Angel of the Word to produce another 8 damage, potentially, just yeah. with those cards alone. Let alone this board that's about to be presented with Faria, most likely, next turn. Yeah, which is just disgusting, okay? Disgusting. But Bottle's able to present enough uh, of a board here and a turn to deal with most of this board, so definitely a good turn for Bottle. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. I, I can't really imagine much of a world where Les just doesn't send every bit of damage to his face that he can. I agree. Um, I think this is like yeah. Hector face, Evolve Carrot face, like just, you just keep yeah. going face until Bottle's crumbles, essentially. Yeah. Keep going face until he doesn't have a face left, and then after that, keep going face anyway. But then so, there's that sleuthy Dark John over there that could flip the script, maybe. Eh, <laughs> I would still be going face. Because he's two turns away from Dark John. You know, he's right. two turns away from that. Right. I would not be worried about Dark John. Yeah, I think I think just Hector face, Evolve Carrot face, so it can't get banished. Um easy easy time here but let's definitely taking his time to think this play out he definitely has a lot of options i mean he could play an angel of the word plus a feria and like get in for three damage plus also kill something if he wants to um he's definitely not gonna be playing that wizardess so that's not a good that's not a play here but that i guess that's the only two plays he could either play angel of the word and feria or he could play hector and then it really just depends on play. what he wants to do with those effects play hector man. The there you go there we go Stop. There face. we go. This is what we like to see. Perfect. Face. Hit him in the face. Crazy, amazing. Sorry, Bottles. Stop. <laughs> Sorry, Bottles. <laughs> Sorry, Bottles. <laughs> hey, maybe, maybe all this, maybe all these hits in the face will wake him up a little bit. Let's go. <laughs> oh man, it's messed up, man. Maybe that man didn't get a. Maybe he didn't get a good sleep last night, man. That's true. He didn't maybe drink he did. Warm, he did. He warm milk. You know, he didn't take any sleep. Don't drink pills. warm milk, people. Don't drink warm milk. What are you doing? <laughs> hey, I don't know. I don't know. So very, very thoughtfully, Bottles keeps the 4-4 around instead of the 5-2. Even though the more power would have dealt more damage over the course of the next two turns, the two toughness means it would die to Dark John. It also means it would die to things such as Piercing Rune that we just saw last draw. So kind of cool. Kind of cool choice there. Now... The uh, the situation that Les is in is, do I continue to go face? The answer um, is most think, assuredly. <laughs> yeah, one hundred percent. 
you should be going face. You shouldn't be yep. thinking about anything other than going face. And if you are thinking about something else, get rid of it and just think about going <laughs> face. <laughs> right. This this turn, honestly, he could play a little defensive. He could do some things to the effect of Faria plus Carrot plus Piercing Rune and basically clear out the board while doing two damage and keeping uh, a follower in play. So that would be a really good line. Uh, another Hector to face is an okay line, but probably a little bit worse because it allows Bottles a lot more options on what he can do. Um, yeah. Could even just play Double Angel the Word and snipe out the 4-2 just to Unleash present a board. A shining helmet. Okay, he's going with the Hector play and he's going to blow the board clear. So he's not going to be going face lest you disappoint me, man. Very disappointing. No damage this turn. Sad Panda. What are you doing? Yeah, no damage against Seraph. On okay, sure. And Dark John is gonna make that Evo feel terrible. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. But as we can see, there's still four unmitigatable damage in less hand here. So okay, now five. And he does have a Wizardus to refill after he dumps his hand. So. This is God's word. Stop. Yep, now he's gonna go face. Yeah, took a brief reprieve to not deal damage, but I think <laughs> that damage to face is now back on track. Because I don't, he can't kill this Dark John, or he shouldn't expend the resources even if he could kill Dark John this turn. He should just be going all face still. Agreed. Agreed. So, so yeah, I think just yeah, Carrot I think you should just be shooting him. In the yeah, yeah, yeah. Carrot plus laser. <clears throat> I am a flower. All right. And oh, he's playing the fairy instead, and then he's still playing the piercing rune, so I guess that's fine. But I think same, I would have preferred to play the. Well, it's not exactly well, the same because if he loses the fairy, he doesn't get it back, and he could at least replay the carrot. So that's true. the The only reason I can imagine that he decided to play the fairy there is because bottles does have an evolve orb left, so a piece of the cudgel still could come down to take out that carrot to remove advantage. So waiting until the evolve orb is gone is. Is good too, so but either play is pretty much the same, not a big difference here. And we're in a very similar similar situation that we were in last game. Is Bottle's gonna be healthy enough to actually play that Seraph on turn eight? He might actually be in this position. Um he's got board control. Lest has no way to take the board control back. Um and we're, we're approaching turn eight next turn. So Bottles is in a much better position than he was last game. Uh, oh, you don't want to be top decking goblins, bro. That's not winning you any games. Nope. I think so, this is a refill anyway, turn. Bottle, yeah, dump hand play... Uh, what is it? This? But, mm -hmm. again, like, Bottles doesn't even have to play to win on board. So whatever... I mean, he could, I guess. But, again... Um, he doesn't... Oh, my goodness. Not what you want to be saying. <laughs> Bunch of bricks. Oh my goodness. So now we're just going to see bottles trade the board away and then pop down that Seraph. But he did that with no hesitation. <laughs> yep. He's, He's like, like I got down. this one in the bag. You can't kill me. Let's go. And he has Sister Initiate plus two Hollow Dogmas. So we know that he's got the win on the following turn if Les cannot close somehow this turn. And he gave him the emote. He gave him the emote. He said, most impressive, man. What a jerk, man. <laughs> what a jerk. <laughs> Woke up just the emote. What a jerk. He went back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Fell back over in his chair. Ready to go back to sleep after the emotes. Big jerk. Catch some jerk face teams. bottles. <laughs> but playing very well this game to make sure that he could play Seraph on 8, had the combo in hand, ready to go. Watching Seraph win, never a bad day. Nope. <laughs> so, I'm happy. On Seraph so got to win today. But mm -hmm. we're seeing today, Impressive. these games like are just, these are haymaker games, man. These games are not hey, ending fast at all. Like, none of these matches oh. are going by super quick. All these players bringing decks that they can play with. Um, yeah, just not a lot of super aggressive decks. I really like it. You know, more yeah. to cast, more game, like more game to see. <laughs> it's great. Yeah, I'm loving it. I love slower games. I, I love slower games so much. When it's fast, it's like, it's hard to commentate. You're like, well, he did that, and it's, oh, he hit him yep. with 50 bats. And, oh, oh well, he, go he hit him with Oh, ball. he go face. Oh, he go face. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's the slower games that give you the, uh... That feel of, okay, they're both strategically trying to 
win this game. It's not, oh, I'm just going to hit this guy as hard as I can, as I fast as I can. It's not life. that. It's, no, boom, we're going to play our hearts out. And that's what they're doing right so, now. So check this out, guys. Bottles is playing D-Shift, Queen of the Dread Sea, combo craziness. I have no idea what his thought process was for bringing that to this tournament. Uh, seems like a really weird matchup against decks like Control Rune. What do you think? I I have I haven't even played the deck, so I have no idea. Like why why do you think he brought this deck? Well, this deck is what I'll call the control deck, control deck. Okay, it's are you gonna win on ten? It's basically like Seraph, except it require it it you know Seraph it requires you to have uh, different parts for the combo. It's basically runes equivalent to Seraph. You need three cards to win the game, and plus an evolution point to do it. So you need to have Lucifer, you need to have D Shift, and you have to have Queen of the Dread Sea, or, or Israfil. Israfil also. So, um, or if you get your opponent's life low enough, you can just do it without the Evo point. But um, both with the Evo point sets up a, uh, you know, just an immediate lethal, just one turn, boom, dead. So, um, I think that. This deck is good versus slower decks because it's also a slow deck. Um, oh. And it's heavily tech to be aggressive lists. I like it. So it's kind of like Control Blood, only with a combo finish instead of a, a fair finish. That's kind of cool. Right. Now, yep. just so you guys know what the combo is, Dimension Shift is usually a deck you'd see in a spell boost deck to reduce its cost down to zero and then take an extra turn and then win with a bunch of uh, other spell boosted followers like Flame Destroyers and things like that. In this deck, you basically play it with Queen of the Dread Sea, because Queen of the Dread Sea will reduce it to zero, while also reducing a neutral card in your hand to zero, and you also get the 7-7 seven, seven in play. So it dumps the rest of your hand, so you have to win with it, or at least be in a really good position after it happens, but it's a way to end the game on 10 uh, through a combo with a control deck. So very cool idea. Now, I will say this about the Queen of the Dread Sea deck, and I have been playing this deck a lot, actually. Um... I will say this, that the curve from turns two to five is like non-existent unless it's right. Price of Magic <laughs> or it's like non-existent. So you're going, you got twos and then you go straight to like six. <laughs> it is six in late game. So, so here's a question for you. Dwarf Alchemist could have been evoed that turn to give Bottles yet another card to put in his hand. Maybe another Calamitous Curse, maybe uh, another Professor of Taboos or a Master Mage Levi if he's playing him. Uh, do you think it was right for him not to evolve there? Do you think he has enough resources in his hand already? I actually think that it's a bait. It won't be long to, for him not to evo is like, all right, go ahead and kill it. Can't withstand you know, and it felt like a bait. And this is a really heads up play by last. So if he plays Calamitous Curse, he won't actually be able to take out the Hector. Because, uh, so, oh wow, he will be able to... Dude. Yeah, there's actually okay. not a single play that's really good here. Um, here Professor of Taboos got bricked by a 6-6. Calamitous Curse got bricked by a 6-6. Like and Master Mage <laughs> Levi is going to have to kill itself to deal with this Hector while leaving the uh, evolved Gourmet Emperor in play. And then Very he drew turn. another Hector. <laughs> he drew another Hector, dude. Like, Get that damage this... in, bruh. See, this is actually uh, very troublesome for bottles. Um, Lest is playing around. He was that last Evo played around On every field, single uh, thing that he could have done during that turn, and he's going to do it again. He's doing it again. And I, I love this so much, dude. I love this so much. You Professor see bottles Taboos going. Cannot... What the ducks is happening right now? <laughs> So, he is so heads up right now, dude. He's gonna um, have to get lucky. So he's, he's praying right now. Yeah. Right there. Go dice roll! Here it comes. If he, if he loses this, he and loses he the game. he missed it! He missed it! Oh. It's over! He's dead! He knows, he too. Death. Bottles knows. Yeah, he knows dead. Oh my goodness, dude. Wow. <laughs> Lest with very wow. impressive plays there. My goodness. Lest! You're a genius! You are genius, a genius, man. man. Genius. <laughs> Lest never fails to surprise. And I think there's a very strong reason why he is one of the top players in Season 1. Not only has he always demonstrated his willingness to tech against his opponents and go out of the meta.